Hey friends, welcome back to the Deep Dive Snippet. In this little clip, I'm speaking to my friend Karma Medic on the podcast, and we're talking about the idea of what it means to have meaningful work. And we're referencing this absolutely fantastic book by Paul Millard called The Pathless Path, imagining a new story for work and life. So if you're interested in finding more meaningful work, or at least how to productivity YouTuber bros think about it, then I hope you'll enjoy this clip. Part of it is also like this deeply ingrained sort of thinking that are, is in my head and I guess of people in my generation as well that like in order to have success in order to have happiness in order to whatever you need to be working hard you need to be in a high stress environment you need to be pushing yourself um, which is probably not true at all but it's kind of like an intrinsic feeling of like you want to be doing something that's intense not necessarily stressful but like yeah. gets your blood going yeah there's definitely like I've, I've been doing a bunch of reading into this as well this uh, culture of or this narrative that hard work is itself a virtue mm -hmm. um and i think this is a very it's a very like pervasive um thing and it, it, it's it's not necessarily always bad all the time but i've begun to think uh, harder about harder about, uh, about like where this comes from the whole like 1500s the protestant work ethic the idea that working hard is itself a virtue that brings you closer to God. Mm. And it's not just about the fruits of your labor, it's also about how hard you work for it. Mm. And there's this, you know, there's this really good book um, by Paul Millard. Ooh. I've got a lot of copies there. <laughs> give to you a copy of this. It's, it's sick. The Pathless <laughs> yeah. Path, Imagining a New Story for Work and Life, mm -hmm. where he used to be like a management consultant, New York, et cetera, et cetera. And then ended up uh, leaving his job after a few years and kind of massively cutting down his salary, just doing a little bit of freelance stuff here and there and just doing the whole slow living, exploring the world. Yeah. And he writes a lot about this kind of uh, hi history of workism and where the idea that hard work is a virtue comes from. And I think it's all, it's all very interesting and it's something that I'm grappling with as well. Um, because, yeah. It, it, I think it's definitely something that's ingrained in us to some extent. Maybe not so much in people who are like five years or so younger than us, but certainly for me and, and a lot of my friend group and how my parents raised me, it's like, you need to work hard. Why do you need to work hard? Well, just because, like, you <laughs> yeah. know, that, that's what you do. Like you go to uni, then you work hard and you support your family and, um, and you know, that's how you thrive. Um, and so a lot of like sitting down and studying or going to work is just this is what I'm supposed to do. It's this natural drive that's kind of within us. I think if we all took a step back and think about it a little bit more, we'd realize this is probably isn't the case and we shouldn't think of it like that. Um, but yeah, I just feel like it's something deeply ingrained inside. Um, you mentioned that maybe not for people five years younger than us. What, like you probably speak to students who are like in their late teens, early 20s. What's, mm -hmm. what's their vibe? Uh, a huge generalization incoming, but people of my parents' age and maybe our grandparents' age, their whole sort of life um, goals was uh, go to university, get a good job, and then you've made it in life. You are successful, you have your career, you have your family, you're good. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Whereas I feel like for a lot of people our age now and younger, that isn't where the primary source of happiness is coming from. I think people want to have a wider impact. They want to uh, focus a lot more on their social life, on their personal life. And then their job is just kind of something that they do to sustain themselves. Whereas in the past, the job was the one thing that you did kind of. Mental health wasn't important. Social life wasn't important. It was all about sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. Big generalization. Um, and so, yeah, I think people who are a bit younger than us uh, place a bigger importance on mental health and having fun and uh, balance in their life than maybe someone who has come like myself who's come from a migrant family and thinks you know I need to get my education need to get a good job need to have a family blah 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 mm. yeah one of the things that Paul Miller talks about in the book um and he's got a tweet thread about this is the accidental tweet threads <laughs> oh it's so good it's like a good condensation of like what you know sometimes is a book um the the accidental meaning hypothesis okay. where the idea there is that for our parents generation um going to university, getting that good job, staying with IBM for 50 years, working your way up, getting the company car and the health insurance mm -hmm. was in fact a recipe for a meaningful life. Back when we lived out in where, when we lived in the suburbs, the people were very involved in the community, uh, controversial point, but like the traditional family unit was a bit more of a thing. You would go to church on Sundays. You would have like, you would, you would know who your neighbors are. And if you followed that path, just by virtue of the fact that that was your life set up, life felt pretty meaningful. Like you have community, yeah, you have family, you have a social life by default. Um, nowadays, where we live in a bigger sprawling apartment buildings, we have no idea who the hell our neighbors are. Um, 
fewer and fewer people are, for example, living with their families and living in their local communities and getting involved with the local communities. And it's all about like, how do I get ahead in my career, et cetera, et cetera. Yep. Um, now the model of, oh, I'll just work at the same job for 40 years, no longer leads to accidental, Definitely meaningful, not. fulfilling life. Yeah. And now is, and therefore we have to think harder about what are the elements of a meaningful and fulfilling life that we just don't have by default and incorporating them actively into our life rather than passively by default. Hey friends, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this clip, then click here for the full unedited episode. And if you like that, then do please consider subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.